He's not gonna kill ya. He's just gonna hurt ya. Real, real bad. Hey, what's up my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Hot Toys Suicide Squad Joker Arkham Asylum version. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here we have a very creepy looking image there of the Joker Suicide Squad, the Joker Arkham Asylum version. This is a sideshow exclusive. On this side of the box, we just have some more you got teeth and everything on this side of the box. There you got Joker talking to Dr. Quinzel. On the bottom, you just have some designs there with the evil jester and the same thing on the other side. You got the ha 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 and the hee 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 and hoo 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 and all that stuff. On the back of the box, you just have warning, please don't eat anything. This box is going to be very bad for you and words and things and stuff. The cool thing about this box is that, uh, let me move the figure here so I can pull back a little bit more here. Cool thing about the figure is that the, the sleeve of, uh, this box actually does serve a purpose. It is functional. Um, it just holds on to the box via magnets and you undo the magnets here and you remove the box itself. And this now becomes a backdrop for your figure. So you've got the, uh, little room here in the asylum with some ha ha's and, God's only child and all this stuff. And that's pretty cool. I dig that. That is awesome in my opinion. The box becomes a backdrop for the figure. I like that. That's good idea. Good, good idea. So when you remove that, you have this insert right here with the Joker and the credits of all the people that were responsible for the production of this figure. Ah, right there. And of course you remove this, and in here is where the figure sets and all that good stuff. And that's basically it for the packaging. So moving right along, here we have the Joker. And a pretty cool figure. I do have my little complaints about it, but still a cool figure nonetheless. So let's get in close here so we can take a look at that head sculpt. That is a creepy head sculpt. I mean, that's, that's, that's Jared Leto right there. And that is creepy. <laughs> that is creepy. Again, they always do a great job on the eyes. The eyes just look so real and just look like they're just staring into your soul. But yeah, very creepy. He has his damaged tattoo there on his forehead. Got the J there on the side. A little star there. He even has some scars on his face, which I did not notice in the movie. And the hair is very nicely molded and painted. And all around, very cool. Got his lips painted there, even his grill. Even the grill is there. That's crazy. That's just crazy. But yeah, very, very nicely detailed head sculpt. Now, as you can see, he is wearing his straight jacket because he just he just loves to hug himself. But the straight jacket is nicely done. You can see it's just kind of dingy and dirty looking. Very cool. And the pants here, just very simple. Just say Arkham on the side there. And his feet. He got he got a pedicure right there. <laughs> And going up the back, I mean, there's not a whole lot going on here. The back of the straight jacket, you can see all the straps and buckles and whatnots. And yeah. So, there you go. So, now we will go through the accessories. Uh, he does include a chair to sit in. <laughs> it's just a simple chair. Uh, it is made of a softish plastic. You can see the legs have a little bit of bend to them. But done in a nice silver. The seat itself actually does have some weathering to it. You can kind of see some some scuffs and whatnot going on there. So he has a little chair that you can sit in if you want. So you can just, you know, get him into a seated position here. Just have him sitting down on his chair while he's talking to uh, Dr. Quinzel. And there you go. <laughs> just have him hanging out in his chair. So that's one accessory you get. Uh, you do also get the display base right here, which is just kind of like a kind of dingy carpeted floor look for the asylum. And you can see right here the nameplate, Suicide Squad, Joker, ha ha ha, and the cards. Of course, they always have the uh, little protective film on them, which I leave on because I don't have room to display these bases, so these just go right back in the box. But still, nice display base. 
And it does come with the arm here, which is uh, metal. And it just screws in right up top like that. And you also get the little cradle here that just slips right over. So if you want him to be standing, you can have him standing on the base like that. Or you can just leave this off and just plop the chair on here. And there you go. <laughs> so you can have that going on if you wish. Um, you also do get an alternate piece here. You get this little cardboard bit that is included in the box. And again, this looks like a little, you know, kind of dingy green floor here. And that is meant for the backdrop. So you can just take this and just line all that up like that and sit him down right there. And you can have that display going on if you wish as well. That's pretty cool. So you do have some options for how you want to display him. And that's quite appreciated. Even though I can't really make much use of them because I don't have the space, I still appreciate it nonetheless. Uh, you do also get some cards. You do get a creepy looking Joker card here. And the back says a kind of skull jester on the back, done in purple. And you also get this card with Joker on one side and Harley on the other. And again, that same design on the back. Uh, you do also get some extra wrist pegs in case you break the ones that are on the figure. And you do also get one pair of hands or just open hands, just relaxed hands. Um, no tattoos on them, unfortunately, and that's one of my complaints about the figure. No tattoos on the hands. And we'll get a little bit more into that as we talk about this feature of the figure. You can remove the straight jacket if you want to. Uh, there are just the five little buckles here on the back and you just undo them like you would a normal buckle here. So you're just gonna pull that side out and you just get this through. You have to be careful here. Just kind of feed that through. Have us gently and pull that through like that. And you got five of those, so just undo those. And once you get all those undone, you can then just kind of get his arms out here and you can pull the straight jacket off of him. And it comes off very easily, and you can put it back on very easily. And there you go. And as you notice, they um they 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 cut his hands off. They cut his hands off, and that's where. <laughs> That's where these hands come in, so we can now plug these on and actually give him hands because he needs them. There you go. Let's pop those on, and there you go. That joint's kind of tight. As you can see, he's just wearing just a plain, you know, little dark blue T-shirt here. And um, my my main issue with the figure is that they didn't. They didn't fully deck him out in the uh, in his tattoos. Um, if you lift the shirt up here, you can see no tattoos on him. No tattoos whatsoever. He's got his bazillion ab muscles going on, so you know he's been he's been doing his crunches. But uh, yeah, no tattoos on him at all. Now, granted, I understand why they did this because he's meant to be displayed with the straight jacket on. So what's the point of putting all the tattoos on him if you're never going to see them? I get it, but still would, you know, just would have been a nice added touch, or at least just a tattoo on his hands or something. I don't know, but would have been nice if they included the extra tattoos. They just put the one here on his neck, and that's the only other tattoo you get on him. So, you know, it is what it is. But now that we have the jacket off, we can now talk about articulation. So articulation-wise, the head is on a ball joint, so you get some good wiggly, waggly, wiggly, waggly. He can look down. Good bit. He can look up. Full 360 degree range of movement. And again, some nice wiggly waggly. Now the arms can do a full 360. Um, the t-shirt, you know, you have to work around the t-shirt. But the arms can do a full 360. They can go in and out. That far, you do get a swivel at the elbow. You do get an elbow joint. 90 degrees of bend. Uh, the wrist can swivel as well as that hinge there, so depending on how you orient things, you're going to have the hand and going in any direction you want. You do have that ab crunch right there, so you can have them arching back, crunching forward. That goes side to side as well. That also rotates. 
We also does have a waist swivel, which doesn't have a whole lot of movement. That's pretty much all you're going to get out of it. The legs can go forward, that far, backward, only that far, outward, that far. Um, there is a thigh swivel. He does have, if he raises his legs here, double jointed knees. Uh, you can rotate his foot at this point right here. And uh, that's it. There's no movement in the foot whatsoever. There are no joints here, so don't try to move the feet or you'll break something. The feet do not move. No joints there. So that is all the articulation you get with Mr. J. Now, for a comparison, here he is with Batfleck. Just so you can see how he scales there with the Dark Knight. And you can see he's quite a bit shorter than Batfleck, as I think he should be. Yeah, uh, he'll fly out. So yeah, that's pretty much it for Mr. J here. Um, it's a good figure. Like I said, my only complaints is that I wish they would have decked him out in his tattoos. I understand why they didn't, because, you know, he's supposed to be covered up anyway. So, I mean, I understand it just would have been um, nice. Um, I really love how the box becomes a backdrop. That's, I love that. I love that. That is genius. Why didn't they think of this sooner? Um, I think that's really cool. And, uh, yeah, I mean, not a whole lot as far as accessories go. I mean, he's got his jacket, he's got a chair, he's got, you know, some hands. You know, not some hands, he just has the hands that he needs because he can't have his hands in a straight jacket. And you get some cards. You know, not a whole lot by way of accessories. You pretty much get what you need to recreate this scene in the movie and that's pretty much all you need to recreate that scene in the movie besides a table and a uh, Dr. Quinzel to go with them and maybe it's maybe at some point they'll make that I don't know but we'll see now as I said earlier this is a sideshow exclusive and I picked mines up directly from sideshow collectibles um you can also pick up suicide squad toys from big bad toys store.com there'll be a link to their site in the description down below so check that out you can also check out my suicide squad playlist for any reviews you may have missed also linked in the description down below so check that out as well and I think that's it so don't forget to check out M games check out Lori plan follow me on Twitter all that good stuff down in the description below and I think that's pretty much all there is to say so there is the Hot Toys Suicide Squad Joker Arkham Asylum version and this is Emgo saying remember you don't stop playing because you grow old you grow old because you stop playing big geek be proud palm in your face hello I came to talk I've been thinking lately about you and me about what's going to happen between us. In the end, we're going to kill each other, aren't we? Perhaps you'll kill me. Perhaps I'll kill you. Perhaps sooner, perhaps later. I just wanted to know that I'd made a genuine attempt to talk things over and avert that outcome. Just once. Are you listening to me? It's life and death that I'm discussing here. Maybe my death, maybe yours. I don't fully understand why ours should be such a fatal relationship, but I don't want your murder on my hands. Huh? What, 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 what happened? What, what happened? what I miss? What did, have you? Have you been sleeping this whole time? Sorry, it's just that you can be so boring sometimes. So you know this is why we can never get along! What?